the last stage of the 2023 Crow race, much better weather compared to last year, and still the GC up for grabs with about a dozen riders within 10 seconds of the overall lead, but we had another sprint stage, so unless the intermediate sprint was won by Kristoff and then he won the finish, it didn't look like anyone was going to overthrow Aula, who was looking really, really good in all the sprints. Maybe Ineos could try something, but it wasn't even that technical, this finish, compared to some of the other runs we had with Sheffield and Hayter, both on nine seconds. But Unox, they wanted to go for Kristoff uh, to win the race overall. As I said, he's within 10 seconds, and then he came even closer with the first intermediate sprint. He took the maximum three seconds with Aula not getting any seconds at all. Hater actually taking two and Christoph's teammate taking one. And then I think the breakaway was allowed to form. Uh, but you know, X had that under wraps as well. There was Stedman, Turk, Kostansky, Gamper, and also Martin Pedersen, who I think is the brother of Mads Pedersen on Little Trek. And Kyle Rural obviously weren't chasing because they want the bonies to be gone. They'd be very more than happy for the breakaway to win. They were also uh, you know X getting help from Oscar Onley and DSM Fermanick and it looked like it was under control but this stage compared to the others they had a bit more trouble bringing the breakaway back to Peloton they did a few laps around the finish circuit 27 seconds with four and a half kegs to go they only bring them back I think with under three kilometers to go and by then that's a function of the sprint trains getting set up in this big hot dog turn so yeah it's it's not that technical compared to, like, these are wide, wide roads for Crow Race. Um, sometimes, last year, I remember in particular, there was a, a left-hander where I think Milan crashed and Moritz maybe won the stage, or Axel Laros. That was really, really technical, and it was raining too. But uh, Ineos opt to have Sheffield on lead-out duties. They don't really try to improve his GC position, although this was just a nailed-on sprint stage. They got Tarling after him, then Plap, Rowe, Swift, Viviani and Hater. So when we see the overhead shot, we'll be able to see that Hater is the protected sprinter. Well, at least I think that's the plan because Viviani moves ahead of him here. You know, X bringing Kristoff up the middle. He's got the aero helmet on. That's the way you can tell him apart from his teammates. Lund on the left hand side in the blue points jersey. Morich moving up. Burati or Govacar. Lonardi for Yolo Kometa. And yeah, you can see. Haters there fighting the Jake or Lula train who are obviously going for Campbell Stewart today. And if Hater wins this stage, or Kristoff wins this stage, and Aula doesn't take any bonus seconds, they can win GC. Lund was too far back on GC. He's only going for stage honors. Plap takes over. 1.3Ks to go. Ineos train still looking pretty good. They got more numbers. Like DSM, they're now down to their last man with Lund. Aula's got nobody. Him and Leitao, they're kind of freelancing. He's like, what, 20th wheel right now? Moving himself up under the Flamme Rouge. Q3, 6.5. We're going for Parasini, who'd already won a stage here. But Rowe just doesn't have the snap on his lead out. And he goes a little bit too long. Flicks Swift, I think it is, too late. And Bahrain with Moritz just wash over Unox and Ineos completely before a big left-hander. And you see Aulas pop his head up here. He slides in front of Viviani, in front of Parasini, and somehow gets the back of the Bahrain and Uno X train. I've actually rarely seen someone with such good... I know he crashes later, but generally speaking, someone dive bomb so much, hit caps as Aula in the Vuelta and this race. And he's all of a sudden got Kristoff's back, who's been going way too early, and gets a nice run into this sprint. They catch up to, might have been Aberastri, who was doing the lead out um, for Little Trek. They've had a pretty curious week. Bahrain start, and then Aula crashes. We'll see it better in the overhead. He gets closed a bit by the lead out of Bahrain, goes down face first, gets Bunny hopped by the Ljubljana rider, I think it is. And then Campbell Stewart comes out of Christoph's wheel, not only denying him the stage win, that's also the overall win gone for Christoph. If he took those extra four bonus seconds, he wins GC here. But you see how Bahrain came across. Our last slides into, I think, Parasini's wheel. They, no, he goes ahead of him, takes Christoph's wheel off him, although Parasini goes on the inside ahead of Christoph, but the open side is quicker 
round this bend, uh, or at least Kristoff accelerates, and Alar comes underneath Parasini, and he wants to go early, actually. He sees this open space and momentum. He has to the left, as uh, you know, Kristoff was already thinking of launching. He doesn't crash on the initial contact. He crashes when he begins to pedal again. I don't know if they clipped heels or what happened. Stewart fights off Parasini to get the wheel of Kristoff, comes out of it easily, and wins his first pro race handily, in fact. I've been quite impressed with Campbell Stewart this week, and I, I think... I'll be keen to see how he goes in Saudi Tour and Oman next year in February in the sprints. I'll be interested to see if Groenewegen goes again, probably because they're sponsored by Alula. They'll need to send the big boy there. But, yeah, I've been impressed with uh, with Campbell Stewart this week. And also, obviously, Aula, who wins GC. But Stewart wins ahead of Christoph, then Glivar, Parasini, Anderson, Govica, Lonani, Teutenberg, Burati, Leitau running out the top 10. Aula crashes... I don't think he was too banged up. At least he was able to get up. That could have been a lot worse going face first. But he wins GC. Three seconds ahead of Kristoff, seven seconds ahead of Hayter, and nine seconds ahead of Sheffield. Kristoff ever so close, and Ineos maybe needed to be a bit more aggressive in the earlier stages. But I hope you enjoyed the recap, and I'll see you, I don't know when. Ciao.